What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So Carl and I are seated here about to embark on a very special day. So in case you guys didn't know this, Andre and I traveled to Florida. I shared everything on my stories. We've visited our house, which is under construction. Our dream home is being built. And so we took the trek over fully knowing that when we got home, we would have to quarantine for two weeks. So we are done. Our quarantine was actually done before yesterday. So we let a full 24 hours post quarantine go by just to be extra careful. And today, we get to go out and about. So we are doing all of our favorite things. We are gonna go to brunch. We're gonna go to Home Goods. I don't know where else, maybe the Disney store. Listen, we're not gonna do all the things, but we're gonna do some things. And then we're gonna go out for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna get all fancy fancy and go out to dinner in like this little, it's like a little tiny house. It's really cute. So it's kind of near here. So I'm excited for our day out. If you would like to come along for the ride, which I'm guessing you might because we get to share a video of something other than me in the house decorating, which I'm so excited and probably going out and about and purchasing things. So I'm super excited and I'm starving and I'm so ready for brunch. So if that's something you wanna see, then just keep watching. So the first thing we did is we made our way to brunch. We love Sunset Grill in Ottawa. We go to the one in Lansdowne Park. It's amazing, it's super comfortable. You feel like you're at home whenever you go there and they just have the best food, the best coffee and the best service. So it kind of feels like family whenever you come back in there after being gone for two weeks it felt so good to be able to sit down and have a meal and sit over coffee and just chat so there's actually a winners right across the street from there so we went to winners we got a bunch of gift wrapping stuff and then we drove out a little bit further and we love going out into the country because there's this spot that has a home sense of michaels and a winners right next to it so we hit up those three spots i was so surprised as to how little there was at michaels i was to be honest, a little bit disappointed. I was okay because I had already ordered a bunch of stuff online, but I had kind of held out for the stores and there wasn't very much. I did get this letters to Santa little mailbox. I thought that was really cute for maybe the bar cart or something, but I honestly didn't get very much. It was slim pickings. I feel like I should have got that dish with the reindeers on it, but I did get the matching little knives for it, which was really cute. And then from there, we we're already out into the country. So we made our way to this outlet mall that is in Ottawa and they have a Marshalls. So same thing, we got a bunch of gift wrapping stuff. I love getting our gift wrap at Marshalls and Winners and HomeSense just because they have such great quality stuff and it's so unique and special and I love it. So I got these little curly cues, I got some ribbons, some ropes, and they had Ray Dunn gift bags and gift wrapping. I died, it made my whole day. So we got a couple of gift bags. It's also just easier for Andre to use those whenever he's gift wrapping. He is really, really good at wrapping, but just for my gifts and gifts that he wants to wrap himself, I feel like gift bags make a little bit more sense. So we did that and he was such a trooper and he was like trying to find some for me. And then he spotted these, the naughty and nice ones with the Santa on it, so cute. And we have kind of like a peppermint theme. So I feel like it was perfect. And we got the Merry Christmas ones as well. And then we tried to find some matching tissue paper so that it all went together. So we also got this huge thing of tissue paper and it's honestly bang for buck at Marshalls whenever you get wrapping paper. And then I thought of you guys whenever I saw this and I thought, I need to get it. It was a gnome with a glass of wine in his hand. We needed to get it. And they had some pretty cute decorations at Marshalls. Same thing as Michael's. They didn't have a ton, but there were some spots that had more than others. But I will say, I feel like I was either late in the season or maybe they just didn't have that much stock because it was discouraging. I found a couple of cute little displays of some kitchenware that I want to share with you guys. I love the mugs, not nothing crazy, like enough for me to want to leave with it, but still great. I did end up finding one Ray Dunn peppermint mocha mug, and then they had a couple just one-offs of different variations of Ray Dunn things. Nothing really crazy that I lost my lid over, but the peppermint mocha mug, I was super excited, so I grabbed that. I thought these napkins were so cute. Let's jingle and mingle. And then there was one with a puppy on it that said, making spirits bright. And he had a margarita. Listen, don't ask me why I didn't buy this. I'm now, I always do this. I always share the things that I see. And then I look back thinking, why didn't I get that? And I'm looking for really cute martini glasses. I felt like these were almost gonna be martini glasses but they weren't quite there. If this brand would have had a martini glass, I so would have gotten it because I feel like they're festive. I'm, it, it is not easy to find a martini glass. Amazon barely has any martini glasses that are festive, it, let alone just martini glasses. Not easy to find. And then I spotted these little Ray Dunn ornaments. Last year I had found some sweet 
red ornaments. I have one that says Jolly. I think Holly and Jolly are very and merry or something, and I keep them on my tiered tray. And they had a lot of really festive candles. The thing is, I don't really feel like I need candles right now, and I thought that was really cute. The Mary sign, and these towels were fantastic. So pretty, but I'm trying to find a really cute dish towel for the side of our bar cart. And one thing that we were on the hunt for and that we love getting at Marshall's is stuff for Carl. So we love getting his treats. So he loves pumpkin. Andre found these sweet potato fries also, and he found pumpkin treats. So we needed something to wrap for him. Like he is fully a part of our Christmas. So we got him a little Christmas bag to wrap his stuff in. So we ended up finding him some toys and some treats and everything, which was so perfect. And I honestly love where the lineup is. You always find the treasures in there. So I looked at the dog toys in the line area for Carl. And these are the types of toys that he really likes. If you can stuff a couple different things into something, he loves it. So that little igloo with the polar bears was so perfect for him. And then I was eyeing all these dish towels with the gnomes on them. So cute and so perfect. Just not quite. I felt like they had, they were just too plain. I wanted one that was red or something, but we're gonna keep looking. So we ended up getting that toy for Carl. We just stuffed everything into one of the gift bags and Andre was like such a trooper. He was carrying everything for us and we went to all of the stores. He actually went to the car to drop that off and then we made our way to a candy store that was like right next to the Marshalls because I figured they might have some candy items. So they had some holiday candy things. I think what we're gonna do is actually go to a bulk barn. So bulk barn is really just like, you buy it in bulk and they just have such an array of stuff. So I think we're gonna hit up one of those instead of a specialty candy store, but it was cute. It was cute to look at, but nothing that I really felt like I could display or use as decoration. And then we went to Aerie. So listen, they had the cutest things. I love their leggings, but their underwear, we need to talk about it. So I think they're called like the free underwear, be, be real. They're so soft and so comfortable and I always go into Aerie at an outlet mall because I don't really care what color they are and I'd sleep in those. I love them, they're so soft and so comfortable. So overall, very successful trip at the outlet store and then on the way back home, we stopped at Indigo. Indigo is basically like a Barnes and Noble, but in Canada. And dare I say, it's the one thing that we do better. So I love Indigo because they have a lot of home stuff and cute things. I laughed at these, uh, they had so much very Canadian things on display, it was hilarious, but I laughed at the maple syrup bottles. I saw someone on social media the other day talking about it, saying it was the best maple syrup they ever tried. And I was like, for us, it's just, that's like a local thing. Like it's normal, but yeah, that's what we drink. It's, it is very common. And this is what I'm thinking of doing for our bar cart maybe once the holidays are over to do all brass like that. And then I really want to get this wine breather decanter. I thought that was so cool. But again, I did not need it. And Andre thought I was being ridiculous, so I didn't touch it. And they had all, these are the teacups I had at Halloween. They had them all on display. I love these so much. So I'm going to put them in my closet. I have all three of them, whiskey, gin, and vodka. I thought they were just adorable. And I found these candles. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but the wick almost looks like it's lit. Like it looks like a real candle. It was so cool, but it's all electric, which I thought was sweet. And then they have these maple syrups and puts in and hockey, different little snow globes, which was very cute. And right next to Indigo is always a Starbucks. More, I think always there's a Starbucks inside Indigo. So it's sweet, very similar to Barnes and Noble. So we grabbed ourselves a peppermint mocha. I think Andre just gets a tall dark roast unless he's feeling festive and I think he gets the praline one. So we had our Starbucks and we made our way home. So if you guys enjoyed this, I hope you did. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes. Hey.